What's up guys, George here. This is Oh Wow That's Neato. We all know that stepping on a Lego hurts a lot. But why does it hurt so much? Why do we scream out in pain from such a small object? Well, the answer is pressure. Pressure is the ratio of force per area. How hard something is pushing down over the space it covers. The standard unit for pressure is the Pascal, which is Newtons per metre squared, but it can also be in any unit where force is divided by area, such as pounds per square inch. So when you step on a Lego, a large amount of your body weight is being pushed onto the small area of the Lego, so there is a large amount of pressure being exerted on the Lego, which makes it jab into your foot. For an 80 kilogram person, this is about 8 million pascals, or over a thousand pounds per square inch. Normally, with both feet on the ground, you'd only exert about 20,000 pascals, or 2.9 pounds per square inch. So it's no wonder stepping on this little thing hurts so much. Thumbtacks work using pressure. If I press my finger into this piece of cardboard, Nothing much happens, but if I push a thumbtack into the board, you can damage the board, and the thumbtack stays in there. Both times, the force that I applied to the board was the same, but because of the thumbtack's pointy bit, right there, the force that was applied was much more concentrated, so it damaged the board. The same thing happens with the Lego. You're applying the same amount of force as when walking normally, but it's concentrated over a much smaller area, so it does damage to your foot. But this is only for standing on top of the Lego brick. If you stood on the Lego this way, like that, it has a smaller area, a, probably about half, and so more pressure and more pain. If somehow you manage to step on the corner, of the Lego, you better have the hospital on speed dial. So why is it possible to lie on a bed of nails then? Shouldn't the nails act like the thumbtack and stab into you? You'd think so, but no. This is because your body weight is spread out over the many nails, so the pressure that each nail exerts on you is not enough to break skin. Each individual nail doesn't have your whole body weight on it. It's only got a small portion of your body weight because there are many, many nails. Balloons also involve pressure. As you blow up the balloon, you're forcing air into it, which increases the pressure inside. Because the air pressure inside is greater than the air pressure outside, the balloon expands as the air inside is pushing out. But what is the air pressure outside? How much is the air that constantly surrounds us pushing down on us in all directions, all the time? The answer might surprise you. It is in fact 100,000 pascals, or 10,000 kilograms per meter squared. So if there's 10,000 kilograms pushing down on me from all directions, then how come I'm not crushed? Well, it's because that same pressure is pushing out of you. If I get this board, imagining it's your skin, and I push on it, imagining I'm the air pressure, it moves, representing you getting crushed. But, if I push back against it, representing the internal pressure, it doesn't move, because the internal pressure is opposing the external. You might still be thinking there's no way there's 10,000 kilos everywhere, but there's an easy way to prove it. Just get an empty soda can, Pour a little bit of boiling water in it and wait for the steam to come out the top. Then, with safety tongs, quickly turn it upside down and put it in a uh, bowl of cold water. We'll see what happens next. This is the result of the experiment that we just did, uh, that is rather crushed. And this crushing occurs because the can has filled with steam once the water boils. When it's put in the cold water, the steam condenses, 
leaving the pressure in the can less than the air pressure outside because the the what once was all water vapor taking up the can is now water which is takes up less space so the pressure has decreased this decreased pressure allows the 10,000 kilograms per meter squared to begin acting and so the can is crushed I'll see you next time